What's up everybody? Welcome to this new show called What's Trendy where we explore the trendiest topics on the Google Trends. So first of all, International Women's Day. So tomorrow the International Women's Day. So what you gonna do for a girlfriend? All right. So most important questions about the gender inequality issue is number one, sexual harassment. Number two, uh, education. Number three, workplace. Number four, women's right. So let's talk a little bit about that. You know, this is a controversial subject, but let's talk about the wage inequality. So there's a saying that for every dollar a woman made, a uh, man made one and a half or something like that. And I believe that it's not because uh, guys are paid more than girls well you will say well of course because you're a guy but actually when you compare the five most popular majors what guys take and five most popular majors what girls take you will see that guys take let's say economics management um you know gasoline and uh they take also programming and you know their um, engineering and those are all highly paid uh, jobs well girls take uh, you know poetry language being a teacher being a nurse artist which are low paying jobs so that's where most of the wage inequality comes because there's like the difference in between how many guys compared to girls take each of those majors when it comes to the guy majors they're like 80 percent of guys and 20 percent of girls and when it comes to the girl majors they're 80 percent girls and 20 percent of guys so next one is oscar and there's like who are the nominees and I don't like watch Oscars so there's nothing I can say about that one except you know it's well doesn't matter you know I don't think it's actually based on the talent you have but more of the relationship you have with those who vote but now they're like more than 400 people in committee who vote or like thousand people or something like that so you can't realistically influence to vote you know you have to be actually trying to do that but doesn't matter and then the immigration issue past you week so the number one country that searched uh, you know google to talk about to learn about immigration is actually canada which is you know funny and and then the second one is let me check it's algeria so that's also funny next one is gun is american so should you would would you vote for gun control or gun shop and so you know what like there so this is really really interesting topic so on the one set on the one hand like if you're opposed to guns you will say well look at all these kids bringing guns to school and killing other people and the other hand is like well I need to protect my family if somebody comes to my you know home and try to rob us or something like that and you know I, I've been working late nights and early morning there's some scary stuff happening you know especially if you live you know in the places where there, there are no street lights you know there so I think you should be allowed to carry a gun I think there should be a little bit more control of, you know, you know, checking your background and, 
maybe not allowing everybody to have automatic weapon but let's say a pistol a small pistol you know that can wound the person but not actually kill him like, I think that would be oh, you know that's like probably more safer than carrying a knife which is considered a concealed weapon so like when it comes to knife and you know swords and stuff like that as long as it's concealed you're allowed to carry it so if I have like a katana like this big and I put it over here and then I put my hoodie on top of my head and nobody sees that I'm carrying a long sword now I'm allowed to carry it but like on the side where everybody can see it I'm not allowed to carry it with me even if it's in the thing to protect it because like just a person looking at the weapon you know induces fear and, and anxiety so that's why it's not allowed so the next one is Trump administration so I was watching like when I first saw Trump idea yeah, like first I like him because he's a businessman and successful businessman so I was like you know what America needs a successful businessman because America is like 25% of you know global market and I don't feel like they're using it to their advantage the way they could be doing it and that if a businessman would take control of the you know government that he could be doing a much better job than you know someone who's just an average person but then became the wall and China and Russia and Syria and Muslim and all the other incidents I was like this guy is crazy but now I'm like he's not crazy he's actually genius but we are the stupid one because we don't see what's going on but like I'm not gonna say that he's the worst president ever and I'm not gonna say that he's the best president ever but like what I try to do is like look both sides like just like explain with the guns like why is he best why is he worst and he's probably somewhere in the middle like should you build a wall probably not should you protect your people like mexicans not gonna violently attack americans but they are like a cheap labor force and if you're an employer em yeah employer you're gonna take a cheap mexican labor force instead of expensive american labor force so then Americans wouldn't have the jobs and as a president you need to protect your people so I understand why he's you know protecting the people and but building a wall maybe not the best idea ever and then when it comes to uh, raising the taxes so there are like two things uh, like one people say well then the rich pay more, so we will have for social care and stuff like that. And then the other one, well, if there's more taxes, then people will go build a business outside of the U.S. And U.S.A. is one of them, a few countries that has like um, global taxes. So that means if you're a U.S. citizen and you make money in Japan, you have to pay taxes to America but if you're like a Serbian citizen making money in Japan then you don't have to pay taxes for Serbia but if you build a company you know like a Japanese company and you're an American businessman having a Japanese company then you don't have to pay it so the thing about the rich people is they're smart motherfuckers they'll pay taxes because just like always tax deductions and you know so for example when you sell a home you pay tax but you pay a tax I don't pay tax because that money I used to buy another house so because I did that trick I don't pay taxes on my gains see so that's being smart and how can you become smart you start reading they ask me why do I read law but well, it's not because I love it it's because it's just 
a better deal. And that's why I think like um, raising taxes or lowering taxes or any other debate you're gonna have, like you have to look from the other side. So I think Trump is actually about lowering the taxes, not raising them. And even if he raised, so let's say you take money from Bill Gates. So he has about 70 billion dollars and there are 300 million Americans in USA. So that means if you split the money, you're gonna give $300 to each American. Will that save your problem? It's not. So that's why raising taxes is not gonna help your problem. Educating yourself, getting a better job, learn how to save money or invest money, that's gonna help you, not raising taxes. Next one is visualizing Google data yeah not that important lunar new year is in china uh Pyongyang olympics i don't watch tv so i'm not that you know into olympics and then super bowl 52 who's gonna win and then state of union again usa you know like there's like what's the top issue in each of the states and the number one is healthcare, the <laughs> number two is Russia. So that's funny. And then 60 annual Grammy Awards, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, Winter Storm, and that's it for Google Trends. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's Trendy and then I'll see you next Wednesday. So we're gonna make this a weekly thing and I hope you enjoy it. I see you tomorrow. Bye bye.